Welcome to Live from the Funny Bone, presented by Sierra Mist, bringing you the best in local, regional, and national comedy from our showroom here at Easton Town Center. I'm your host, Leslie James, flying solo for the next couple of weeks while Dino's on vacation. We've got a great show lined up for you this evening, including national showcaser Nick Geza, along with the Pepsi Max local comedian of the week, Matthew Spriggs. Stick around, we'll be right back. Welcome back. Our first comedian, you may recognize, he's been on several popular sitcoms, including The Drew Carey Show, also Malcolm in the Middle, and Becker. His stand-up routine mixes hysterical stories and making fun of pretty much anyone in sight, including himself. Here's Nick Geza. Thank you so much, Columbus, Ohio, yes! I love it here, because here people my size are considered healthy. That's right. In Los Angeles, I have a weight problem. In Columbus, I'm a f***ing athlete. People, hey, you a football player? You a football player? I don't know. And in Iowa, I'm anorexic. Well, I hope you guys are ready to have some fun, because I'd hate to think I get all dressed up for nothing. These are my good sweatpants, lady. They're mountain fresh. Can you smell the mountain? Yes, you can. Want to climb the mountain? Yes, you do. Ricola. <laughs> now, I dress like this because I'm lazy. I am, man. Any other lazy people here tonight? Yeah. You see, the real lazy ones go, hey, man, say something for me. <laughs> Come on, help me out. This is a great job for a lazy guy. Comedian, man, I get paid to talk. That's a good gig, you know? Because there's a lot of jobs I can't do being lazy. You know, I, I can't be like an army guy. Don't get me wrong. I got no problem shooting and killing someone. But if I got to march 20 miles to do it? <laughs> we're just going to have to learn to live in peace. I'll try and kill him, you know, I'll send him some poison cupcakes or something. But my ass ain't getting out of that tent. In fact, the only way they could ever convince me to join the army is if the army had drive-bys. I'll shoot your ass from the back of a Cadillac. But I'm not walking through sand to kill anyone. I don't even walk through sand to get to the beach. I'm like, hey, what time is high tide? I'll wait. I was actually in Afghanistan earlier this year. People go, oh, are you entertaining the troops? No, I have a summer cottage there. Because people are stupid. Not you guys. Everyone else. Any military people here? Anybody in the military? Former military? Yeah, what branch? Is that the Secret Service, I'm guessing? Well, thank you for doing what you do. Yes, give them a round of applause. A very difficult job, yes. Everybody is there when you're there. You gotta be tough, man. Are you tough? No, you're not. That's why you're here, you're not over there. You gotta be tough when you're there, man. I had to be tough. Because they're young guys, they wanna show you their toys, you know? You land at a base, you're like, hey, you wanna shoot a machine gun? You're like, yeah, let's shoot a machine gun. So the guy goes, hey, you wanna fire a cannon? I'm like, yeah, let's fire a cannon. So the guy goes, hey, you want to throw some hand grenades? And in my head, I'm like, no. Because I've dropped it before, right? For no reason. And those guys are all in great shape. You know, they have options. They drop a hand grenade. You know, they could jump on it or run away. All I could do is push some guy on it and walk away. Way to go, hero. <laughs> Gotta be tough. 
And they're all in great shape, man. I was the only fat guy in the whole country. And they let me know it, too. Because when we're there, we live with the soldiers. You know, you sleep with them, we eat with them. And there's a sergeant at the child line. He tells everyone that walks through, he goes, take all you want, but eat everything you take. Take all you want, but eat everything you take. The guy looked at me, he goes, have a nice day. <laughs> and it's all built. Everything's built for small, you know, guys who are in shape, you know. They have these showers there, these prefab metal showers. They're like this wide. I had to put butter on my sides just to get in the son of a bitch. <laughs> and the shower heads come straight down on you, straight down. Every shower I've taken in my life comes at an angle, right? These things come straight down. I was there for three weeks. Yeah, for three weeks I walked around with soap all over my balls. ask your army buddy for help with that. <laughs> you go, hey pal, can you pull while I push or push while I pull? But I've been farting bubbles for three weeks. <laughs> Don't laugh, lady. And I'm getting older now. They're starting to swing low sweet chariot, if you know what I mean. You know what I'm talking about, don't you, sir? Right, yeah. No one ever tells you about that, do they? We hear our whole life that women's breasts are going to sag, but no one ever tells you the boys are packing their bags and moving to Florida. <laughs> the other day, I jumped in my car and sat on my own balls. Oh, <laughs> They're low, lady. Lower than you're thinking. Let's just say if I hang upside down, I can't see. <laughs> They're low. My Indian name is Low Sacagawea. <laughs> They're low. I saved the drowning kitty without getting wet. <laughs> okay, kitty. Okay. They're low, lady. You ever shave your balls, man? You ever shave your balls? <laughs> you know that, sir? The young guys, they shave, their, they shave their balls. I did mine last summer on accident. Yeah, I was cutting the grass and I backed up. <laughs> that concludes the low ball portion of my act. After the break, more with Nick Geza.